This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. A viewing will be held tonight for the UPS worker killed in a chase and shootout in Miramar. On Sunday, family, friends, and co-workers paid tribute to Frank Ordonez. A vigil was held in the parking lot of the UPS Customer Center in Doral, where Ordonez parked his car on Thursday after arriving for what would be his last day of work. His stepfather thanked everyone for the outpouring of support, but says the family remained steadfast in their pursuit of justice for Frank. Hallandale Beach police have identified the suspects involved in a chase and officer involved shooting. An officer tried to stop 22 year old Joseph Knowles Jr. and 21 year old Jamari DeBard early Sunday morning for a traffic violation, but they refused to stop and led officers on a chase. Surveillance video shows the suspects running through a gas station after bailing out of a car in Hollywood and the officer opening fire. One suspect was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries, the other is in custody. A 12-year-old girl is under arrest for threatening to kill students at Falcon Cove Middle School. BSO announced on Sunday that the girl was taken into custody Friday evening and transported to the Juvenile Assessment Center. She faces two counts of a written threat to kill and false reporting concerning a firearm. Deputies were notified about the threat, which was posted on social media by the parent of another student. Anyone with information on about this case is asked to contact Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. And the holiday spirit has reached Coconut Grove. The community kicked off the holiday season with a whimsical pop-up holiday village, live music, performances, and a tree lighting ceremony. It's meant to inspire everyone to support local businesses during the holidays. And there was some gift giving as well. At the end of the evening, dozens of Christmas trees were donated to local families in need. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Sounds like a nice event. Hopefully you enjoyed your weekend. We're waking up to a mild start with low 70s in Miami, Fort Lauderdale and in Key West. And right now the radar is quiet and dry and bright and date a few sprinkles across keys. Winds calm or light and tonight a few showers and cooler inland with the upper 60s. But today we'll see those highs in the low 80s with a mix of sun and clouds and more of the same tomorrow. There could be a few stray showers here or there. On Wednesday we'll be turning up the heat flirting with record highs in the mid 80s and a better chance of scattered showers to end the work and school week. And as we head into the weekend, temperatures will not be as warm as we head into Sunday, Maribel. I said thanks. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11. Follow today's important headlines.